Despite all the cool things you can do with AI, motion graphics are usually something that end up looking terrible, or at least not exactly what you wanted. Until today, because Heijin just released the first ever prompt-based motion graphic designer AI tool. And in this video, I'll show you how to use it, how it compares with other AI video generators, and I will also show you how to access it free. Already, so all you need to do to get started is sign up to heijin.com and you will find a free trial link in the description of the video. And once you're here, just click try it out on the top right corner and then choose one of these templates or upload your design. And first, let's try this template. So I like this terminal window style motion graphic thing. So let's do this and let's create one for my website called codinggem.com. And let's hit generate assets. Now the AI takes a while to render it. After about two minutes, here is the result. I mean, come on, I think that looks super cool. Although this is pretty restricted because there are only a couple of templates. So I will definitely have to try something more, but this one, it actually nailed pretty much perfectly. So I could definitely use this as an animation for one of my videos or stuff like that. Now, instead of just using these couple of templates we have, let's actually try this on our own design. So here is an image that I want to turn into a smooth looking motion graph. Because this is an image, the tool doesn't actually accept it. So you need to turn this into a video. And I think the best way to do this is by just screen recording this for like five seconds and then saving it as MP4 and then dropping it into the view. So let's try to see what happens if we do that. Okay, so now I just did that. So this is literally just a seven second clip of this image basically. And now I can drag and drop this into the view. And because I don't feel too creative today, I just dropped the image into ChatGPT and told it to turn this into a prompt that I can send here to turn this into a motion graphic. And now let's see what happens. Oh yeah, and after about three minutes, here is what the result looks like. So if you compare it, here was the input video. So here we have this kind of a cool looking background and stuff like that. So the AI extracted um, the parts that it thinks are relevant to the motion graphic and it put it in this way. So I think this looks pretty cool, although I must admit that I'm not like a professional motion graphic designer, so I'm not 100% sure what it's supposed to do here, but I think that this looks like a proper motion graphic. So you can see these vector lines moving along, and then you also have the animated text and the animated effect over here. And it definitely resembles this photo over here. But now, I absolutely have to try this elsewhere as well, because the email that I got when this was released on Heijin told that this is the world's first prompt based motion graphics designer tool. And that prompts me to try another way to create, for example, this motion graphic we just did earlier. So I believe that has to be possible elsewhere. It's not just on Heijin. So let's actually go to openart.ai and let's go to the video side and let's choose the image to video generator and let's, for example, do, let's do Kling 2.5. I believe that this will already be able to pull it off. Then I will drag and drop a screenshot of what I want to accomplish and I will drop it over here. And then I will give it a prompt. And once again, I just told ChatGPT to create this kind of an animation that I showed you earlier. So a terminal window where this text appears slowly. So this is the prompt. I will do 10 seconds. And let's do, just to save some credits and time, let's do the standard quality and let's hit generate. Alrighty, so actually now it starts to make sense. <laughs> so here is the result that I got from Kling 2.5. So as you can see, it is completely messed up and it totally misses the text here. And it also has the text that I had as the input screenshot over here so it doesn't even remove that text to begin with. So this failed terribly. That actually prompts me to try this again. But this time, let's try, for example, VEO3. So I will do the exact same thing. I will drag and drop the screenshot of this initial frame. So I just want to tell the idea with the screenshot, and then I will give it the prompt where I tell it to create a motion graphic where this text is typed on this screen. And let's hit create to see what happens. And even from VEO 3.1, which is the latest state-of-the-art AI video generator, we get a completely messed up result like this. 
So yes, this is so much better than the Kling 2.5 one, but here it is not templatized, it is not creating the exact same text that I wanted, so the AI is clearly missing its mark. So now I actually start to see the power in Hagen. So here you get to see consistent results based on these designs or based on your own designs. So you can literally create one of these super cool looking AI motion graphics where you don't have any AI quirkiness going on. So it looks like it has been put together by a professional motion graphic designer and that is the power in it. So I have to be honest, I wasn't too impressed by this when I first opened up this view and when I first created my couple of designs. But once I tried to do the same with VEO 3.1, Sora, Kling 2.5, then I started to see the value in this. And although the design library is very limited, the idea here is that you have one of these designs yourself and you will just enter it into this view and the AI will then turn that into a motion graphic based on the design. So you can do your brand colors, any one of your templates and that will work perfectly. And now the only issue here is that you can't drag and drop an image and turn that into a motion graphic. So you have to have a video to begin with and that makes it a bit restricted for somebody who is looking to create their own motion graphics. Of course, if you are a professional and you have already your designs in place, then that is a no-brainer. Just drag and drop the name to Heijen and you will get these awesome results back. But if you just want to experiment with it, you just have to resort to these 10 or so templates that you have on Hagen.